what's up YouTube in this video I'll be showing you guys how to make the interior for this lava bucket house mm -hmm. that, right, that guy right here so this video is all dedicated to the interior only I will include a little bit of extra stuff that you can make to the exterior but but in fact it's going to have to work like that if you don't mind, give me a moment. One well, Mr. Hunter can be interrupt. Okay. What's up, guys? It's me. All right. Well, well, no one deals with issues with his little brother. I shall be entertaining you. Yeah. All right. He's back. Never mind. No need for my entertainment. Check on what Noah's doing. All right, guys. Anyway, I was just checking on what Noah was doing. He was doing something miscellaneous. So I had to check it out before he started getting mad at me. Anyway, so <laughs> the first thing that we the issue. The first thing that we want to do is that we want to make this a little bit awesomer. To make the floor awesomer, you're going to need some orange stained glass and some lava. What you essentially want to do is that you want to dig new. You want to rip out the floor and do it two layers down. The reason is because we're going to add the lava down here. That's the second layer. Yeah, just to make it look a lot awesomer. Mm -hmm. So let's dig down one. And make sure that this is not made out of wool, which mine is made out of sand, stain, clay, and block. Which is a thing. Because clay nor coal is flammable and mm -hmm. will burn down. That's a true fact. So that's what we want to do here. We want to work that with some grass. We could just pour some lava in here. Remember not to remember to make sure that it does not get on the first layer. That's the opposite. Like, get reckless at it, okay? That's what I always essentially want you guys to do. Make sure... Um, look at that. Alright. I'm trying to tell you the other areas that are not so good. Just make it until you have no lava flow. You have just like steady lava. That's essentially what, what I want you guys to do. All right. Once you get something like this, you want to put orange stained glass over it. Now, people are going to be thinking that they're going to be falling to lava, but they're really standing on orange stained glass. Right? So, we just want to make it more cooler. And that's essentially what we're trying to do. Make sure that you do not have any flammable stuff like wool or wood down there. And make sure that your house ain't wool built. As it may probably trigger the fires and stuff like that. We're just going to add down here. There we go. So your interior should look like this. Right? Now, once we got this taken care of, well, essentially this would not be a two-floor house, unfortunately. It's not tall enough, unfortunately. So that's why we are not going to make this at least two. Um, we're not going to make this about two blocks higher. If floors high, right? we're gonna make it one floor high, and let me tell you how all this is gonna work. Um, we will need some miscellaneous junk that you'll normally have in the house craft chest and um, crafting table, furnace, jukebox, enchantment table, ender chest, and they both have some miscellaneous stuff afterwards extra miscellaneous stuff. You'll 
also need a bed for your house. Quite obvious. We can add some iron frames, some paintings, and that's pretty much what we want. Alright. So, accordingly to me, oh, and by the way, we'll need some doors, so we can put the ender chest away for a little while. We're good to, well, at least for the moment, we can grab some dark oak wood doors, and we can actually add some doors here to give it a more pleasant scene. Or we can do it like this. Uh, right here. I wonder if you can place chests. Like, I wonder if you can place doors on either one of these. Nope, you have to use something. Um, so, let me go ahead and go cure my enchantment table. We can just go grab some of this. Plop back our orange stained glass. Fill that in. And we can have our doors like that. Now let's worry about the interior. Let's worry about how this is going to work. So essentially how this is going to work, we're going to have a bed. Like a twin bed right here. Problem is, we can't really put anything on here. We can't really put beds on, so. We will have to elevate the bed a bit by having some chests. Maybe we could put, maybe how we can do this is just like, hmm, I'm going to have to figure it out here. So, we can go ahead and go get some of this, and then we can just like have beds that are flowing, and we can have that with some snake glass in it. Like this, right? Now, how we're going to get up to these is that we're going to have to need some ladders. I know, this is kind of crazy. Me actually having some... Actually, we can't put ladders. Never mind. So, And then we can ask paintings above them. Like that. Now, that sounds very really pleasant. To the additional evil scene. Alright? And then, in... Next to it, we're going to have some beacons. Alright? So, take out our beacons. And we can place some here. Well, let's add chest. Then we can squat down and we can place some beacons directly on top. Like this. We can have crafted table here. We can have furnace here. And then really, um, I wonder what else we can add. We can add some other miscellaneous junk. Like, for example, we can have... Enchantment table, we can have a jukebox somewhere, we can have ender chest, right? So we can have like um we can we can have an enchantment table here, we can have ender chest here, um we can have double ender chest, how about that? I'll make it a little bit more even. Right. The next thing we want to add that will probably make this look a lot more cooler is that we can have a bookshelf, like a library area, so. We could just, like, have multiple books over here. Yeah. Alright. And then over here could be, like, the brewing area. We can have ourselves cauldron. Here in the bookshelves for a little while. We can have, uh, not another cauldron. We could have brewing stand. We can have some potions, that's what we got the iron frames for. Alright, so we're going to place our room stand right here, a cauldron over here. Um, three iron frames, each with a different type of potion. Alright, got the same one. So that's completely fine with me. Alright. And then, maybe what else can happen is that maybe we can... Um, dog is sitting high ground. Um, my brother's just doing some ball flips. That's... Um, do that cool. Yeah, that is my lava house here, right? Mm -hmm. I was just showing that for Mr. Um, what was that dude? FJ Fireline. I was yeah. showing that exclusively just for him, right? Mm -hmm. So, 
Now, um, what I'm going to be doing now is I'm, we're going to be making the second floor. Because I really think that there is enough room to actually do, let this happen. So we can have a second floor here. This could be more kind of like, I don't know, like an attic or something. You won't really have anything up here. And maybe we can have some um, glass up here, like glass windows. How about that? That's a great idea, guys. I really, really love that idea. And I should say, the great reason why we got ladders here, um, and maybe by that, we're going to have to extend our area out a little bit. Because we have both this at one of the dumbest spots possible. And I'm going to really try this later. Um, back to the yeah, it's alright. I'm completely fine with it. So. We can get rid of the oak wood planks for a little while, and we can grab our ladders. I apparently threw it away, but... But yeah, up here is just going to be like an attic. Then we can have some oak wood. We can have a ladder on the oak wood planks that actually let us get up. Right. Then we can have some glass windows. Like here, uh, we could go to go break that, have some glass pane in it. You can use really... Any glass that you want to get. But we can just put one right there. Actually, I'll put two, like a double. Like that. That's all we're going to include, right? And then I wouldn't really prefer this, but if you want to have an, like an underground basement, uh, you could do that. But I wouldn't prefer because the lava uh, is going to be spreading on in there, and you don't want your basement covered in lava. It's not. Really going to stink if you're in survival mode. It's going to really stink, so don't try to do that. Unfortunately, I am embedded in this nightmare, <laughs> literally. So, so guys, <laughs> believe it or not, that was a very, very horrible idea I just did. What should really happen is that we should probably go to go grab ourselves the orange stained glass and the oak wood planks. Something that can actually be used. That's great substitutes. If you're in creative mode, you may want to get under there um, in just a moment because you're going to have to get rid of the chest and replace the glass. Um, we could. Grab the orange stained glass. We can cover this area up. And there you go, guys. That is your bed on glass. That's the only way I could possibly think of it. Also, if you want here, we could just go. That's the way now. We could just go ahead and go place that with glass. That'll make it a lot better. We could have the only part blown right there, like that. And maybe right here. We could just go ahead and go change this to oak wood planks for the love of God, because this does not look right. We don't need grass blocks involved in this. We can have it like this, right? That is perfect what I wanted. And there you go, guys. That is our Lava Bucket House interior tutorial 100% fully completed. Ignore that thing on the right, by the way. So, anyway guys, like I said, that is all what you gotta do to this house, alright? Nothing else special, alright? So, anyway guys, check out, I forgot to, I think I did forgot to tell you guys about this, but you can absolutely check out my Real Life Thanks playlist linked down below this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for incredibly awesome videos every day. Don't forget to give this video a like. And don't forget to let me know in the comments for the love of God. Let me know in the comments down below what you want me to make next. Because I am running out of ideas. Okay? So. That is how it's going to work. Alright guys. Thank you so much for watching this awesome tutorial. And see you guys next time in another awesome tutorial. Take care.